going to be Kinemon set 4. I have not seen this yet. We're going to mulligan this trash hand. I don't know why my hands are like trash. I I'm always looking for a Doflamingo. That's really what I'm mulliganing for. Turn 1, we literally have no potential, no plays, nothing to do. Turn 1, we have nothing to do. We literally have no plays. Turn 1. But that doesn't upset me. Okay, good start for him. I can, can I? Oh, no, I can't return it. That's fine. Literally nothing we can play there. Next win is cheap. Let's see what he's going to play. He's going to play Yamato? No, an Okiku. Okiku can set anything sideways. So we're going to make sure she sets Pacifista sideways, right? Damn, and he activated this guy. Damn it. All right, and then we're going to... Let's play the pacifista down that way, if, even if he sets us sideways, it's going to be hard for him to get rid of that pacifista. So like, let's say Okiko sets me sideways, he still can't get rid of the pacifista. It's just too big, it's 6k. And we know he's going to set it sideways, we know he's going to attack with it, so might as well just place something big that he can get rid of. I have a big hand, I can definitely block counter out of this. And we're getting, we're getting to mid-game here, so this is not bad at all. This is a great decision to play that pacifista. I know not everyone agrees. I think this is good. Yeah, look, he's even if he sets this sideways, I mean, uh, this is weird, actually. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to attack with the Okiku. Yeah, yeah, he didn't want to attack with the Okiku. No worries. I'm, I'm still going to counter. Yeah, I'm going to counter out of it. I know how big that is. I know how big that is, but that's fine. I don't want to use Red Rock here, but that's fine. We don't have to do that. I won't attack with Pacifista. But if I don't attack with Pacifista, then what the hell was I doing? No, I'm just going to attack with Pacifista. I'm just going to play a blocker down. And I don't know, man. I think I'm doing everything wrong. My late game is going to be insane, right? I kind of want to return Okiku to his hand. Will this, will this lose me the game? If I go back to 4 Dawn. Yeah, I think I lose game literally if I do that. The only way for me to do that is to ditch this hand with Sasaki. It's fine. We're going to be able to hold them off really well. We, we should be fine here, guys. We didn't use up this Dawn, but that's fine. It's fine. I think I made a, might have made a mistake. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have attacked with the Pacifista. Or maybe I should have pumped him up a little bit more. I mean, he did take both of these hits. But uh, I feel like there's something off, man. I feel like there's something off. Let's take that hit. Yeah, this is crazy. He's that's solid. It's fine, guys. Our late game is gonna be insane here. Our mid game, sorry, mid mid to late game is gonna be insane. Yeah, let's take this hit. That's fine. Yeah, I see Zeph is already coming to send this guy back home. This is gonna be crazy, guys. This is gonna be insane. I don't even want a Zeph. I kind of want to play something else. I want to have something big on the on the floor. But this guy removes 7 costs. So let's just play the Zeph for now. Remove this Okiku from our face. Um, oh, I, I don't have to trash. That's fine. I won't trash. We have two red rocks. There's no way he can come at me surprisingly and just end me. That's not going to happen today. So... We'll just pump up this crocodile and get rid of this ISO. 
and turn. All right, if Okiko comes down again, we're just gonna send her off again to the Shadow Realm. Okay, okay, Yamato's here. Bro, this guy won't let me have anything on the field. It's okay. Once Kaido lands, literally he has nothing he can do. He can't deal with Kaido. Okay. Yeah, um, we're going to just send off Okiku back home. If you have one or less characters. Um, let's send off Okiku. I mean, we could drop Kaido right now. We could drop Kaido right now. Let's just send these two home. Yeah, let's just, just just do that. Like, what the hell are we waiting on? Bro, oh my god, I think this is insane. Yo, Moody Anter's got the right idea. You've got the right idea, brother. That's what I was thinking. I was like, let me just Kaido. Like, he can't get rid of Kaido. Once it's on the field, it's going to help me out a lot. Like, let's say he plays a 10 drop. It's okay, I have Red Rock, right? We don't need Kaido to remove any 10 drops. We have two Red Rocks in hand, so we can deal with anything he plays. So as long as we're the first ones to play that 10 drop, we win game. It's 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 kind of sad that he didn't use this killer ever. I'm going to just send it back to his uh, hand. Yo, really? You're just going to do that? Like, that's kind of pathetic. Let's get rid of this vanilla because we just have such amazing cards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The 10 drop came. That's fine. That's not going to do anything. Go back home, buddy. And uh, he just has no way to deal with us. If I want, I could just draw more cards. Yo, he did keep us sideways, though. So I'm kind of scared. If he plays another 10 drop, we lose a whole turn. <laughs> no worries, but let's let him play another 10 drop. <laughs> Look at that 3 4. Oh, we drew all the red rocks, boys. We drew all the red rocks. It's okay. Let, let him. Let, I want him to play Dofi next turn because it opens up potential for another red rock. And then he loses that next turn as well. Now I'm going to lose next turn as well. But I guess I can I can develop my field. I can play something. He's not going to be able to develop his field. Uh, there's potentially just attacks 5k and 10 drops again. He is using his ability. He has Yamato and Okiku in hand. Poor, poor guys. Like, like Crocodile actually dealt with this deck really well. Sending back the Okikus. That, that's clutch, guys. Let's see if we can deal with this 10 cost uh, Do Flamingo four times. I mean, we do have four Red Rocks. Dude, Red Rock is kind of broken. It's literally everything Blue is looking for. In, 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 like, we, Blue only had return to hand removal and that sucked. Now they actually have decent removal. Okay, Okiku is back, but you're literally useless. 8k now he's actually deciding to attack into me i think we're gonna have to take this i can't block it yeah he's not gonna do flamingo at least at least we can restand our stuff do do something this turn um i'm just gonna do flamingo into sasaki right we don't have anything cheaper to play Or we could just play these two pacifistas. Do Flamingo return the Okiku. Yeah, let's do that. Let's return Do Flamingo the Okiku. And. Uh, yeah, let's Do Flamingo the Okiku. And then we'll just pump up this dude and attack heavy. Or we could play Sasaki. I mean, this hand is insane. I don't think I want to Sasaki this hand. Let's just attack 7k. Let's keep that one Dawn up. He doesn't know what we have. He's going to take this hit. So those two Dawns are absolutely useless. 
I think if we played the Pacifista, he would have punked Gibson, and that would have been really bad for us, right? Because he would have just cleared my field, and we wouldn't have cleared anything. Now we actually actually got rid of the Okiko, got rid of one of his blockers, and now he's just <clears throat> taking damage too. 12k. All right, next turn, boys, we're going to start activating our ability. I'm thinking we drop that 9-drop and then activate our ability. Sending back any blockers he plays. We win game next turn. Bro, literally, Crocodile does not let you play the game. That's crazy. Zeph was a great idea, bro. Zeph was literally a genius. Zeph was literally a genius idea to play. Okay, this guy is literally gone. Wait, this is a dawn. Damn, I can't send it home. That's fine. Oh, he might he might set my sent tomorrow sideways. He has a punk Gibson in hand. He actually countered that? Why would you do that? I could just send it home if I want to right now. Yeah, he punk Gibson my sent tomorrow. I'm just going to send it home. Yeah, he doesn't get to play the game. I'm not going to let him play the game. Why does he why does he get to play the game? Tell me. Can somebody explain to me why I should let him play the game? I have two red rocks in hand. I don't need a, uh, the Dracul to land. I can literally just red rock his ass. I don't need Dracul to land. If he 10 costs right now, ten, if he 10 drops right now, this is actually beneficial for me. I get a whole turn to gain back my powers. Where, and he loses this whole turn. Now, the only thing is, he actually is going to kill that sun tomorrow. That's the only thing. That's, that's actually true fact. But I think it's too late. Yeah, I'm just bullying it. <laughs> bro, he must be sad, bro. We just pulled another sun tomorrow. No, bro. I swear the heart of the cards is with me today. Bro, if, I, if that was me, I would be so mad. This motherfucker pulled another sun tomorrow, huh? I'll be surprised if he can actually counter all of this. First punk Gibson. Carrot into Okukawaba. And now he needs to punk Gibson again. Okay, Nanke. Yeah, he loses. Yeah. Literally, absolute dissection of thy opponent. That's crazy. He had no.